Hello everyone, my name is John Rafael Biasinto and this video will talk about bugs. So first is Oider Hemiptera, from the Latin word Hemipterus, meaning half winged. True bugs are an order of insects that includes approximately 80,000 species divided into families such as cicadas, aphids, plant hoppers, leaf hoppers, bed bugs, and shield bugs. So down here are the examples of true bugs. <clears throat> Next is Genus Cymex. Genus Cymex is a genus of insects belonging to the Semisidae family. Cymex species are ectoparasites that feed on the blood of animals such as birds and mammals. There are also two types of species, which is Cymex lectularius and Cymex hemipterus. The first species will be Cymex lectularius. Cymex lectularius is a species of Simicidae. Its primary hosts are humans and it is also one of the world's major nuisance pets. And also they are, they are known as bedbugs. Cymex lectularius are also known to be infected by 28 different pathogens, but there are no studies that the bed bugs can tra transmit these pathogens to humans and as you can s as you can see in this picture female female bed bugs are larger than the male bed bugs the next species will be cymex hemipterus or also known as tropical tropical bed bugs simicidae family that primarily resides in a tropical climate there are reddish brown and they get darker after a blood meal. So tropical bed bugs can only survive survive in a tropical weather. And there is also another species called Triatoma. Triatoma is a genus of assassin bugs belonging to the triatom triatominae subfamily or also known as kissing bugs. Triatoma members are blood-sucking insects that can spread deadly disease like Chagas disease. Chagas disease is, is the tropical parasitic disease commonly known as American trypanosomiasis caused by Trypanosoma cruzi. So bedbugs. Characteristics of bedbugs. Common name, bedbugs. They are 4 to 7 mm. And as mentioned earlier, female bedbugs are larger than the male bedbugs. Doors are ventrally flattened, oval in shape. They are yellowish brown to dark brown in color. So, in the head, bedbugs have heads that are short and broad, which is attached to their thorax. So, this is their head. They have compound eyes that are large and well separated and they project to the sides of the head in a distinctive manner. So these are their, their eyes. The mouth parts are of the piercing and sucking variety and they also have segmented antennas. Next is thorax. Thorax is where the head is implanted. The parathorax is strongly grooved anteriorly. Uh, so this is their thorax. <coughs> Parathora parathorax is deeply notched anteriorly where the head is attached. So here it is. Hemilateral pads are oval pads on the mesothorax that can be viewed laterally. They are paired wingless, however, being reduced to, f to form hem hemilateral pads and the hind wings are absent. So that would be all for my part, thank you.